southeast and weaken as it does so. So the brightest weather in many western areas with some sunshine today. Now through the course of the evening and overnight, what's going to happen is the rain that ground to a halt will start to move back westwards across much of England and Wales, heading in towards parts of eastern Scotland as well, with some murk and some drizzle and patchy light rain, and another cold night for western and central Scotland with some frost and some patchy fog. Now tomorrow, for many of us, it will start off dry and fine with some sunshine, but again, the wind is going to pick up in the west, even touching severe gales in some western exposed areas. But it will be noticeably windy tomorrow, and then later we'll see some rain also coming in from the west. And that's how it's looking. Back to you two. Thank you very much. Yes, she is enigmatic. Charismatic. <laughs> oh, and charismatic. Yes. Thank you, Quite Karen. while you're ahead. <laughs> yes, I think so. Now, uh, in uh, these cold winter days, the idea of cuddling up in front of a nice long fire, log fire as well mm. seems like a good idea. It's coming back into fashion. Faced with rising fuel costs, more people are switching from gas central heating to good old-fashioned wood burning. Marianne Mashiri is at a firewood supplier in Herefordshire where they've got, well, there's a lot of firewood there to burn. Morning to you. Good morning, Sean and Bill. Yes, indeed, I'm here in Herefordshire at Certainly Wood. It's one of the biggest wood processing plants in the country. And business is booming. And one of the reasons why business is so good is that more and more of us are turning to these wood and wood-burning stoves to heat our homes. There was a time when collecting, chopping and burning your own wood was the norm. Then, of course, came central heating. Now, though, wood burning seems to be back in fashion. According to the latest figures, higher fuel bills mean demand for wood-burning stoves has increased by 50% in the last three months of 2008, compared to the year earlier. That's a rectangular shape, right? The Morris family have recently had three stoves installed in their home in Devon. They believe they're saving money. The cost of uh, gas it is probably would be about £1,400. Uh, and we pay £350 for the wood and then a little bit of gas for hot water and a little bit of heating, um, which is about £300, so uh, perhaps half the cost. But where does all the wood come from? Well, if you're in a smoke control area, you'll have to meet strict regulations on smoke emissions. Otherwise, you could use some of the estimated 1 million tonnes of wood we grow ourselves every year or some of the 13 million tonnes of wood we import. It sounds like there's plenty of wood out there for whoever wants it, but it's not simply a case of going to the nearest forest and foraging for a few twigs. You've got to know your trees, your splitting, storing, what a seasoned log is like, and how to lay a fire. Even a wood burner, you still need to know how to lay the fire. So burning your own wood may be the cheaper option, but it certainly isn't the easiest, something Charles Morris agrees with. It's not for everybody because you have to be here. It can't switch on in the morning before you get up and have your house nice and warm before you, you rise. You have to lay the fire, get it going, then it gives you lovely warmth. If you don't mind putting in a bit of effort to create your own fire, then it could go some way to helping keep both the cold and the credit crunch out. Yep, it looked cosy and it was. Not so cosy here, but behind me here is a typical log stall. These are the finished products. They're kiln dried, they're ready to burn, but it's quite a difficult process from forest to fireplace. And someone who knows quite a bit about that is Nick Stell. He's co founder of Certainly Wood. Nick, have you seen demand for your wood increase over the year? Yeah, we've seen uh, a significant increase over the last 12 months and uh, looks very encouraging for us. And why do you think that is? Why do you think more of us are using wood? Uh, basically, there's a number of reasons why people are moving to wood-burning stoves. One of the major concerns is, is energy costs rising, um, looking at reducing CO2 emissions, um, and it's a renewable and sustainable fuel. Some people, though, might say that the price of wood has risen quite a bit over the past year. Have you found that? We've seen small increases. We are having to pay quite a bit more for our raw material costs, um, but that is encouraging more thinning. So, you know, that's in many ways a good thing. Just very quickly, how much would a typical bag like this cost someone? This recommended retail on this is $4.99, um, and that's for kiln dried logs. And how long does that last you in one stove? This would probably last you uh, probably a couple of nights. Okay. 
Nick Snell, thank you very much indeed. Well, um, a lot of people might be saying at home, the cost may be 4 99 for a packet, but what does it cost the environment? In an hour's time, I'll be talking to an environmental expert about that, the burning issue, the burning question. I'll find a few more puns later on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, because yeah, I tell you what, at 6.26, you would run out now, really. Okay, thank you. Thank See you, you later, Mariam. Uh, later on the programme, we're talking more about trains, because there's...